Australia's military landscape is evolving rapidly, spurred by lessons from the war-torn fields of Ukraine, where drones have redefined modern combat. At the forefront of this transformation is the Bushmaster Protected Mobility Vehicle, a stalwart of the Australian Defence Force since the late 1990s, now being tested with an AI-powered anti-drone system known as Didrone on the Move. Developed through a partnership between Thales Australia and Dedrome by Axon, this upgrade aims to counter the growing threat of small uncrewed aerial systems, a menace that has proven its lethality in Ukraine. As reported by ABC News on March 23, 2025, trials conducted near Thales' facility in Bendigo, Victoria, have showcased the system's ability to detect and neutralize drones while the vehicle moves, marking a significant leap in mobile counter-drone technology. The Bushmaster, a four-wheel drive armored vehicle with a V-hull monocoque chassis, was originally designed to shield troops from improvised explosive devices and small arms fire, boasting an operational range of 800 kilometers and a capacity for 10 personnel. Its combat pedigree spans Afghanistan, Iraq, Mali, and notably Ukraine, where Australia has donated 120 units since 2022 as part of a 1.3 billion Australian dollars aid package. The D-Drone OTM system, integrated into this proven platform, leverages Dedrone Tracker.ai, a command and control software powered by artificial intelligence and machine learning to detect, track, and disrupt drones using passive radio frequency sensors and electronic countermeasures. According to Thales Australia's Mitchell O'Dwyer, this capability addresses emerging threats seen in operational theaters like Ukraine, where Group 1 and Group 2 drones, up to 55 kilograms, have been used for surveillance, precision strikes, and reconnaissance. Ash Alexander Cooper of Dead Drone by Axon emphasized the system's long-range detection and non-line-of-sight disruption, making it a versatile, vehicle-independent solution compliant with military standards like MIL STD-1275 and MIL STD-8110H. Testing in early 2025 demonstrated the system's effectiveness in simulated battlefield conditions inspired by Ukraine's drone-heavy conflict. Conducted in Victoria, the trials validated the Bushmaster's ability to counter aerial threats on the move, a critical advancement over static defenses. Thales CEO Jeff Connolly hailed the results as a game changer, noting that the system enhances the vehicle's survivability and operational flexibility in dynamic environments. While specific metrics like detection range or neutralization rates remain undisclosed, the successful integration of AI-driven sensor fusion and electronic disruption positions the Bushmaster as a formidable counter to the small, attritable drones that have wreaked havoc in Ukraine. This mobility addresses a key vulnerability observed in the conflict, where moving forces have struggled to defend against aerial attacks without sacrificing speed or momentum. The role of this upgraded Bushmaster extends beyond self-defense, transforming it into a multi-threat platform. Traditionally a troop carrier with modular armor and optional remote weapon stations up to 12.7 millimeters, it now doubles as a mobile counter UAS asset, capable of protecting convoys and contributing to battlefield awareness through network data sharing. This aligns with the ADF's Project Land 156, which seeks to establish a layered CUAS capability across its land forces by 2032. The system's ability to counter Group 1 to Group 3 drones via non-kinetic means, supplemented by optional kinetic effectors like the D-Drone Defender Smart Jammer, offers a scalable solution that can adapt to evolving threats. In Ukraine, where drones have targeted vehicles and personnel with devastating effect, such a capability could have shifted tactical outcomes, underscoring its relevance to modern ground operations. Deployment plans remain in progress as of March 2025, with the ADF yet to retrofit its full Bushmaster fleet. Project Land 156, part of the Integrated Investment Program, is driving this effort, with a request for tender opening on January 30, 2025, and closing on March 30, 2025, to select a systems integration partner. 
The goal is a minimum viable CUS capability by 2032, deployable both domestically and internationally. Australia's donation of Bushmasters to Ukraine provides a real-world testing ground, though these units currently lack the Dedron OTM upgrade. Feedback from Ukrainian operations could accelerate adoption, while export potential looms large. Nations like the UK, Netherlands, and New Zealand, already Bushmaster operators, may seek this enhancement. Thales Australia's production pipeline, including 78 replacement vehicles ordered in 2023 and 44 for future missile systems, offers opportunities to integrate the system into new builds. However, domestic use faces hurdles. The Defense Act and Aviation Act impose strict limits on counter-drone actions, requiring state approval and restricting interference unless lives are immediately threatened, a constraint not faced in active conflict zones. The impact of this development on modern warfare is profound, reflecting a global shift toward countering the drone revolution seen in Ukraine. Cheap, expendable UAS, some costing as little as $500, have destroyed multi-million dollar assets, necessitating affordable mobile defenses. The Bushmaster's AI-enabled system enhances troop protection and mobility in drone-saturated environments, challenging the reliance on static air defenses and aligning with Ukraine's fluid front lines. Its autonomy in threat detection and response hints at a future of reduced human oversight, though ethical questions linger. Globally, it contributes to an arms race in CUAS technology, strengthening Australia's strategic stance alongside allies like the US, which also donated 15 Bushmasters to Ukraine in 2023. Yet, its long-term efficacy hinges on adapting to drone countermeasures like autonomous navigation and swarm tactics, which have diminished jamming's effectiveness in Ukraine. Comparing the Dedrone OTM-equipped Bushmaster to similar systems reveals both strengths and limitations. Drone Shield, a Sydney-based firm with 1,000 RF jammers in Ukraine, offers portable solutions like the drone gun, but lacks the Bushmaster's mobility and armor. EOS's Slinger Kinetic Interceptor and Titanus Laser System, based in Canberra, provide layered defenses with high energy options, outpacing Dedron OTM's non-kinetic focus, though at higher cost and complexity. Andrew Australia's trials with the Royal Australian Air Force emphasize rapid deployment, akin to Dedron scalability, but cater more to air-based protection than ground mobility. Internationally, the U.S. Marine Corps' Light Marine Air Defense Integrated System mounted on JLTVs, mirrors the Bushmaster's mobile CUS role, using RF jamming and kinetic options, though it's tailored for lighter vehicles. Russia's Pantsir S-1, a hybrid missile gun system, offers greater range, but sacrifices the Bushmaster's troop carrying capacity and cost efficiency. The Dedron OTM system stands out for its AI-driven adaptability and integration into an existing, widely deployed platform, though it may lag behind laser-based or kinetic-heavy systems encountering advanced drone swarms. Overall, Australia's testing of the Bushmaster with an AI-powered anti-drone system marks a forward-thinking response to Ukraine's lessons, enhancing a battle-tested vehicle for the drone age. Its successful trials, versatile role, and phased deployment plans position it as a leader in mobile CUS technology with significant implications for modern warfare. Compared to peers, it balances cost, mobility, and scalability, though it must evolve to meet future threats. As drones continue to shape conflicts, the Bushmaster's upgrade not only bolsters Australia's defense, but also sets a benchmark for allies, proving that adaptability, born from real-world observation, remains the key to survival on tomorrow's battlefield.